I really am not a person who is overly, you know, which we'll find out in a minute, Christmas decor or anything like that. I just never have been. I like a couple of little things that I, that I like, but uh, I'm not a person who does that. And my family never did, my own family, we didn't really overdo stuff. We went to the church on Christmas Eve for, you know, carol services or whatever, and they'd read the Christmas story. When I was real little, I think we came to downtown Nashville to the Kane Sloan store and, uh, you know, saw Santa Claus and, uh, you know, the decor in the downtown. That's when, before we had the malls. That's when I was real little, you know, which was marvelous. And uh, also the Parthenon. And then we would also, people from Nashville will know this, we would drive down Bell Mead Boulevard. Oh, now that is... (laughs) It was like the week of Christmas, you know, you go drive because everybody's got their lights down on the boulevard. That is the old money area old of money. Nashville, lived... and they are going to have everything just so wonderfully decorated over there. That's right, and that's what we did because, you know, I'm from, my dad's from East Nashville. I'm from Donaldson. That's where I mostly grew up. So uh, that was the big thing that my my family did is, you know, Christmas Eve. We would also, we would visit people. Uh, there would either be a family that needed something. So my father would take us, you know, we'd take and we'd take presents to a, a family that maybe needed some, some toys for the children in, that was in the church or different things like that. But here's one of my favorite memories. Okay, Y'all here we go. are going to love this one because I don't know. I, I've never forgotten it. And this is because every time I drive down, there's a big funeral. There's a mausoleum and a, a big memorial garden and all this kind of stuff in Nashville. And uh, the head funeral director invited us to the preacher and the family to, and I think this maybe, and I could have this all wrong, but this is just in my brain as an eight-year-old, so y'all just have to forgive me, but I will never forget this. We went to the employee's Christmas dinner at the funeral. It's not a funeral parlor. This is the big mausoleum. Yes, yes. A big funeral. This was <laughs> the week of Christmas for the employees. I guess my dad must have spoke, and we all went to the mausoleum for a few, for a Christmas dinner. Now, that's something you don't forget. No. So every time I drive by, <laughs> where where is it? It's the one on uh, um, over on the west side of town that you drive by on Thompson Lane. Okay. Oh, uh, Woodlawn? Yeah, it's Woodlawn. Oh, yeah, I've been all up in Woodlawn. It's fascinating. <laughs> it's That's amazing. where Tammy Wynette is. I know, it's amazing. And George Jones is out in the and yard, but Tammy's inside. what a good Tammy's name inside. it is, Woodlawn. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know. It's crazy because you go on, like, Tammy's on the main level, but mm-hmm. you go down, and it's like people who died in the, like, mm-hmm. 70s, and there's been some water damage down there, and mm-hmm. it's just, it's fascinating, but it's also a little, like... Whoa. Mm-hmm. Interesting. It's very in, in, endlessly fascinating. Like I said, Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner at Woodlawn. So anyway, we would do we would do something like well, not like that, but that was a once that was a once in a lifetime event apparently. And but we uh <laughs> <laughs> we would visit several families and would take some things and uh then we would go home and we would read the Christmas, the Bible Christmas story, and also the night before Christmas. And then we had to go to bed. And then we didn't get to do presents till, you know, the morning. Yeah, we didn't either. We as didn't a kid. get that. And we'd have boiled custard. My mother made boiled custard, which is not the same as eggnog for y'all who don't know. But anyway, that was it. <laughs> Did that answer the question? Oh, yeah. We'll send that one out to Susan at, at SUNY GAM. She was wanting to know about holiday traditions unique to your family. And I think, you know, not a tradition, but a once-in-a-lifetime experience, Christmas dinner at the at the mausoleum. At the mausoleum. Yeah. Was, you know, this is the thing. That's that, a song. This is the thing that preacher's kids get. I know. And I was thinking about this. I was going, how have I not written this song? <laughs> I think I need a funeral food part two. Yeah, Christmas at the mausoleum. Christmas at the mausoleum. Especially now that Tammy Wynette's over there. I know. That can just... And Dottie Rambo. Oh, I love Dottie Rambo. And, um, oh my goodness, that would be good. That's and good who time. else? Little is little Jimmy over there. Little, little Jimmy, Jimmy Dickens. Dickens. Oh my gosh. I think Felice and Boudreaux Bryan are over there. It's a, I think they are too. Yeah. Yeah. Woodlawn. And I will say, some when you go visit some celebrity grave sites, they they aren't friendly and they don't want you there. Like we went to see Whitney Houston's grave and uh-huh. were like sent away. They wouldn't even let us in the, really? uh, the graveyard. 
But at Woodlawn here in Nashville, they will give you a map up front. It's like a star map of the grades. Well, you know, that that really keeps the clutter. I mean, if you mm-hmm. get a map, then you don't have people just wandering all yeah. over, stepping on stuff. Yeah. I so, mean, you know. So, I think you know, a, everybody goes down to the Honky Tonks and the Grand Ole Opry House here in yeah. Nashville. But check out Woodlawn. Yeah. Hot tip. Hot tip. Hot, hot tip. <laughs> okay. Laura Shannon McDaniel wants to uh, know, there's some very cool advent calendars available that are filled with different types of chocolate or wine, cheese, beer, scotch, jams. If you were to create an advent calendar, what items would you fill it with and why? Well, let me first say, hello, Laura Shannon. <laughs> Second of all, well, you know, really an ideal one would kind of be a little of all of those things that you (laughs) (laughs) that you mentioned. I think if you had jams, you'd have to have some nice crackers to go with that. Mm -hmm. Uh, Also with the cheese. I think, though, for me, just a basic one. I like a chocolate one. Just like, you know, I mean, you know, different kinds of chocolates. You could have some white chocolate in there. You could have some with some nuts in it. You know, that to me you know, all one thing. I mean, although I think that would be my first choice is that, but again, all of these would kind of be fun, but you know, chocolate, you can just open that little advent thing and throw that piece of chocolate down. <laughs> okay. It's a little bit easier than the cheese and wine and beer and scotch. That's that's complicated. Yeah. And the jams, especially you need to craft crackers if you do that. <laughs> Always crackers. I recently got a variety pack of fancy crackers at Costco, and I just feel like I'm at a reception every day. You did? Oh, my mm-hmm. gosh. It's just, oh. You can get a lot at Costco. I will just camp out, like, at, at a party or some event. I'll just camp out by the cheese and crackers, so to have it at home. I just don't shop much at Costco because I'm on the road a lot. Ira mm-hmm. works on the road a lot. And just us two and the cats, mm-hmm. I can't eat bulk. Everything goes bad. Yeah. That's a because thing. of my traveling, so the I don't. Freezer's your friend. Yeah, that's right. With Costco. That's right. You know, I was thinking back on what on Ken Bailey's. What is the most difficult part of the changing Christmas traditions of family? And I didn't answer that very well. I don't think Ken. But you know, it's difficult. It's difficult, but it's life. Let me just say, you know, that we you have to change. We're all traveling, and and it's not just my particular family changes, but I think in general our world, we're all. We all move. We live farther apart. Mm -hmm. It's not the same, I think. Or it might be a little easier still if you were in a a rural area with extended family that's close by. But, you know, my family, we're we're kind of all over the place. And uh, and so it's kind of difficult to uh, do the, uh, the specific. I will say that I meant to say this about the trees, too. I don't decorate a lot, but... And I meant to take a picture, maybe Hunter. When I get home, I'll do it. But I just went down to it was like Walgreens or somewhere because I love peanuts. It's just like I really love the peanuts Halloween stuff. But I they turned about like Charlie Brown. Yeah, okay. Charlie Brown plastic tree. It's pitiful, and there's it comes in a box, <laughs> and I love it, and I set it up every year. Oh, that'll tell so you. Good. That'll tell you my decor is the Charlie Brown. It's just one thing. It's plastic. You put it together. And it has one Christmas ball. You hang on it. Be it ever and so humble. I know. I took a picture before. I'm gonna when I put it out this year because I love that. Yeah, and that that uh, the Charlie Brown, um, mm-hmm. the Peanuts Christmas album is so good. I love the, I love it. I listen to it. I do try to listen to that when I'm driving. You know, this mm-hmm. time of year. 